It was waiting for me. I think I want to title the video that. It was waiting for me. What do you think? What's going on guys? Just getting my 15 minutes on whatever this machine is. I think it's like a, an elliptical machine. I don't know. Take a look. It's one of those. Currently doing 11 and a half minutes. And now it's starting to sweat a little bit. Okay guys, so squats today. The original plan was to do five or six. Then I thought I could do three or ten. Then I could do four of eight, but my back is still sore from the deadlift from the other day. So I'm going back to the original plan of going for uh, five or six. So I'm working with 285 today. And it feels all right except for the back, so you gotta suck it up and just do it. Check, check. Okay, guys, that was set number four. I got one more to go. And then I'm gonna move on to the hypertrophy part of the workout. So, uh, yeah, like I said, the back's, back is pretty sore, but I can manage it. That's why I'm wearing the belt. I don't wanna get injured and be stupid. So, I got one more. From that angle, doesn't look like I was going deep enough. So on the other one, it is, so I'm not sure. So I'm gonna take a different angle now and see what it looks. <sighs> and then be done with this. Okay, that was set number five. Didn't look too bad from that angle, so I'm happy with it. Uh, but yeah, that was a grinder. And it's funny because on the way down, that's when it actually I feel. But on the way up, I can feel like it explodes. So that's actually a good thing. So, with that being said, guys, one thing to keep in mind is to just remember your cues. Especially when you're feeling tired, you don't want to hurt yourself. So for me, it is make sure that I'm tight, make sure that I keep my air all the way down and up, that my belt is where it's supposed to go, otherwise it doesn't bother me when I run my waist, and make sure that my positioning is right. So if I have those things in check, and also my mind is in the right place, so visualizing the movement through all the whole rep. So see so you guys.
Okay guys, so the goal here is not to mess up the bag anymore, just to get some volume on the legs. So that's why I'm using machines and I'm using this uh, variation of the hip thrust that I uh, found on a uh, Jeff Nippers video. He has a good, good video about glute training and this is one of the exercises that he recommends and it feels really good. So. The idea is you go with one leg on the lunge, switch to the other leg on the lunge, then right after you move on to the hip thrust on the leg that you began the lunge with, and you keep going the cycle. So I'm doing three of these, then I'm gonna move on to some uh, leg extensions and some leg curls to finish the workout. <laughs> 